All right, this week we are doing a bear cub for Valerie. You can see, just like normal, start off with my sketch and then come in with a acrylic brush in Procreate and just kind of paint and dab some color in the background to kind of create an out of focus woods area behind the bear. I'm just going to be putting in flat color here to start. Some green, some blue, then some gray on the tree, some brown on the bear, and so forth. Just trying to get some things blocked in. All right, and going back to the background again, and just blocking in some uh, more, making it look like there's some trees back there. Now starting to work on the main tree itself, and this drawing is all about texture both the bear and the tree. I'll be doing several layers of different textures. So here, the first layer on the tree, just some white, uh, and then coming in with a, like a splatter brush um, with some dark, and then going back with the airbrush and putting in some cracks for the bark. And then I'll come back in with a paintbrush with gray and try to paint the bark itself uh, on the tree. So it's gonna be texture upon texture upon texture. You can see some more splatter going on there. Uh, and then I've decided, well, I'm going to put some needles, some pine needles sticking in here uh, just to see what it looked like. Wasn't sure if I was going to keep them or not. And then I'll go back to working on the tree itself, going back with some more highlight color. I didn't really like the left side of the tree. Kind of looked kind of funny. Uh, and so I went back and kind of added some more bark out there. And then just coming back and just dabbing uh, some what's going to be some highlights for some, I don't know, growth on the bark, I guess you could call it. And just playing back and forth. This is with a regular brush and then an airbrush. I kind of come back in and do some shadowing underneath it. And then again, I'm going to add texture on top of that. You can see there's a pen there I'm using to kind of draw underneath there to make it look like a shadowing on the, those things. And then the airbrush to kind of give it some form. And then again, more texture. Like I said, lots of texture. And this is like I decided to throw a pine branch in the front here. Um, and just throwing in some different pine needles. And you'll see me go through, again, textured color. So dark green, light green, yellow, blue. Um, just trying to fill this thing out and make it look like it's all there. There's some dark green now, and then I lost part of the branch, so I kind of just put it back in there. Some light blue, like the tips would be blue, some yellow, some dark green. Again, just trying to fill it out, make it look more full. And that is on its own layer because I wasn't sure if I liked it. So you see I moved it there. wasn't sure if I'd like it or not. Now going on to the limb that the bear cub is hanging on. Same idea, some light color, some dark color. Uh, I did come in with an airbrush on this one and give it the tree branch itself some form. And then you can see like some spatter texture and then a pen tool to come back in and do those edges. Just like the main tree trunk, very similar. And then some splatter to kind of create those nodules and then come back in and again, light and dark and overlapping textures continually piling on the texture to give it some more believability. I still feel like, you know, things look very digital on the iPad. Um, I'm working on that, trying to figure out how I can build more textures into it so it doesn't have that real digital feel. So it's just a learning process. Now going back and adding more texture to that branch. Um, just trying to figure out an overlay mode for that sketch. That's why I kind of flashed through there so I could draw in the eyes and the nose and things on the bear, some details on the bear, uh, so I can see what's going on with the, because the bear is so dark underneath and my sketch lines were also dark. Uh, so now I'm just drawing in basic shapes for the eyes and the nose and then coming in and putting in some basic form on the brown of his little nose there. And then using like a stipple brush to start doing the fur on the top of his nose. I went through lots of different brushes trying to figure out which brush I liked best for fur. And so you'll see me go through a variation here, different variations. I think right now this is an acrylic brush with the 
uh, ends of the brush kind of splayed out. And so I'm using that. Um, and I think that's eventually what I, I liked the most was the kind of acrylic brush. And I just used different various sizes and played with the settings a little bit to get kind of a splayed look like I would with a real brush if I was doing it on board instead of on the iPad. And again, this is all about building texture. So you'll see me go in with lights and then darker shades and then some browns, some blue tones to give life to the fur. So here going on the top of his head there with some gray and then coming back in with some darker tones and then darker still. And then you'll see I'm going to switch here in just a second to uh, a lighter, almost the same color as on his chin and nose there to start adding in texture with that to try to build the shape of his face the roundness of his face and and you have to add those layers to be able to be able to feel the depth of the fur if you just put one layer of fur it's going to look very flat so i'm going to keep going back and forth back and forth and one thing you can't see that's going on while i'm doing this um, is that I am constantly turning either the paper with uh, my fingers turning the paper on the iPad or physically turning the iPad so that when I put in the texture of that fur it's the way I'm drawing is always the way that the fur is going so like on his face I'm almost turning the iPad in a circle as I draw just to kind of keep that fur going in the right direction the way my brush is going is going in the direction of the fur and I don't know for sure, but somewhere in the neighborhood of maybe eight or nine different layers to create the fur. I mean, that's just my sketch on top of that. So I wanted to put his paw on here and I wanted to put the, the claws on his paw. And so I put my sketch on top so I could see where they go. And I've had blue into his fur on his paw um, to kind of reflect the sky maybe a little bit because um, the Black Bear's fur is not just black. Uh, it's got color in it. It's got browns. It's got blues. It's got green from the tree. And so I try to put some of those colors in there. And you can kind of see them as you're looking here. Now I'm doing the back side. You can see that light brown. But it, you, when we're done, you won't be able to see that much light brown. It'll just be very thin edge. Then an orange color. Uh, and then there'll be a blue color in there. A gray color. And then come back in with... Uh, dark color so you can see I'm just building layers of depth of fur and you can see it kind of build up there otherwise the bear looks very flat now doing his bottom paw the same way I did that top paw just laying the sketch over top and then coming back in and uh, adding fur texture on top of that and just doing again just one color and then coming back over top of it with another color Maybe some airbrush every once in a while to knock it back. Just depends on how I feel it looks. You can see I use the airbrush there to take the tree branch down a little bit. Make it like a shadow on the tree branch. I'm also doing his nose now. Again, the same thing. I had to add texture to it. That's what you just saw there was a stipple pattern going over top of his nose to give it some more texture. So it's not just all flat. And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this drawing of a black bear cub. Please like and subscribe. Thanks.